second. So get you a spray bottle. You can get it from Dollar Tree, you can get it from Dollar General, you can get it from Family Dollar, you can get it from Walmart, but I would suggest you get it from Dollar Tree. welcome back to my channel i am on a battle if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a new video also if you're returning thank you and thank you so much for coming back for every video like i know we, i know the real ogs i know who you are and i'm thankful for all of you so um also i want to um include into this video that if you guys on here on my youtube channel would like to join the giveaway that i'm hosting on my instagram go and follow me on instagram at monet.battle underscore right now so you guys can join in on that giveaway this that giveaway is mostly for you guys but i'm hosting it on my instagram channel so make sure you tune in to that right now if you have a chance go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and um do all the rules and everything for the giveaway so that you can win because I really want somebody from my YouTube channel to win because y'all been supporting me from the jump my channel is a, a, is a year old now and I'm grateful to all you guys for, to even be over 1k so make sure you guys go do that so if you have not seen the title of the video already this video will be my updated hair care routine for well not my hair care routine but my updated hair care products all the products that i'm using on my hair at this very moment to keep it healthy to keep it growing because if y'all can see like look at my hair my hair has grown so much if you don't know my hair is now at waist length um i did meet that goal um i want to say two or three months ago I, I met that goal and I was so happy. If I if I can, I'm gonna insert a picture right here of where my hair um, is at right now from the last time I measured it. Also, if y'all can see behind me, we have a new setup and that video will be coming soon when I actually make this setup. So um, yeah, the videos are a little out of order. This is the future and some of the vlogs will be out of order. So don't worry about that. So I will be giving you guys all the products that I'm using right now. I also will be linking those products down in the description box if you would like to purchase any of those products for your own hair. Um, for reference, my hair is a combination of, I want to say, 3C, 4A, 4B. So um, right now, it's not really in it. It's in a stretch state, but I did do this. Um, I did do this style on um, dried dried hair after i had put it in braids so it's stretched but um yeah let's go ahead and get right into the video the very first thing we're going to start with is my um i want to say my hair washing products but it's a better way i can put that so um the first products i have are these swab is it swab these swab products and this is what it looks like I'm gonna try to get my. I have the conditioner and the shampoo. I did buy these in a set because. Wait a second. I did buy these in a set because I do not like to mix shampoo and conditioners. I like to use the same con shampoo and conditioners because the products are made together for a reason. So I do use these two products together. This is the. Um, Swab Professionals with Natural Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Sulfate Free Cleansing Shampoo. Gently cleanses and moisturizes. It has no self, no fault, no sulfates, no parabens, no dyes, and color safe for natural hair. This is for natural hair. And then I also have the Moisturizing Curl Conditioner. When I tell you guys, I love, I love this set of products together, especially the conditioner. It gives your hair a lot of slip. And I can definitely say that this bottle has lasted me a long time. Like, I've had this this bottle since, I'm trying to think when I had got this. I've had this for like at least four to five months, this one bottle on my hair. 
as long as it is like this bottle lasted a long time so um, i would recommend you guys getting suave if there are if you are looking for new products to put into your routine then go ahead and try about this try out the suave products they are five dollars each at family dollar that's where i got them from they're five dollars a piece for this big bottle they're five dollars so y'all know y'all getting a great deal. next thing that we must talk about are like what we do with our hair after we have shampoo and conditioning you, you will need a leave-in uh, conditioner or just leave-in products um period so my go-to leave-in product is cantu shea butter and then this is the leave-in conditioner repair cream i like this one better than just the regular leave-in conditioner um, this provides intense moisture leaving hair soft and manageable and is formulated for damaged dry or coarse hair So like if you're somebody that uses a lot of heat on your hair I don't preferably but if you are somebody that does use a lot of heat on your hair This would be very good for you to use um, This is $5.99 as well. You can buy it from Dollar General or even Family Dollar. They both have the same thing and then the second product I like to use is this Cream of Nature Pure Honey Break Up Breakage Leave-In Conditioner. And this is how it looks. Just like this. And honey rich coconut oil. And it has creamy shea butter. I like to use this. Um, I actually use this on my hair that I have right now before I braided it. I applied some of this because I didn't want to apply water right away to my hair. And not only does it make your hair smell really good, it helps to detangle your hair really well. So if you guys can, go ahead and get this. This is $5.99 as well. You can get this from a beauty supply, from the beauty supply store. I don't think that they have these in Family Dollar or Dollar General. Um, I would have to look that. I'm gonna have to look that up to make sure you guys um, could possibly find it in there. But I will let you know if um, you can. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get into the next product, and um, that for me would be like what I use on my scalp. So at this moment, I am using Lee Hair Care's Chebet Oil. Um, I showed you guys this hair oil in a vlog not too long ago. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna need to focus. This is what it looks like, and this hair care brand actually sent me this to try out their product and um i can say that i feel like i haven't measured my hair in a while but when i do measure my hair i'll know that the only thing i've been using on my scalp is their oil so if i have any type of growth any type of rapid growth i know that it came from this hair care product so i'll be updating you guys on that as well but for now this is the only thing i'm using on my scalp and it keeps my hair really moisturized i usually don't have to moisturize it as much when i'm using this and then the other product that i like to use is this um, 99 natural hair growth solution pro grow root sim uh, simulating blend of castor oil and you can use this from any beauty supply store. They sell this all the time. And this is what it looked like. I'm gonna, let me see if I can. Okay, this is what it looked like. Y'all can see the bottle. I'm gonna be like, trying to leak all the products, so don't worry. Um. I forgot how, how much this bottle cost it. Oh, it's $1.99. So, this, you can get a bigger one for like $3.99, $5.99. They don't go too crazy with their prices. Um, I want to talk about edges next. So, these are my edges right now. They look pretty full. They look pretty healthy. And I don't um, put edge control on my hair every day. Um, if you watch me, you know I don't put edge control on um, as much as I've seen other people do. And yes, that is a personal preference. So if you are somebody that uses edge control, because I know a lot of girls that have like coarser edges than me. And like, like they feel like, oh, my edges won't lay down because my hair, my edges is too coarse or they're too thick or whatever. So um, I like to use the got to be ultra glued styling gel on my edges because I know it will lay my edges down for a very, very long time. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows this brand because they use it on their wigs as well. But um, yeah, I like to use this on my edges 
because once I lay it down and I put my little scarf on, which we'll get into um, a little later in this video, I know my hair will be locked down with this product. So this is one of the products I definitely like to use. The other product that I like to use is Eco Styler Gel. This is the original olive oil um, one. This has a max hole of 10. And I like to use this a lot as well, but I don't use it as often. So, and it does help to define, moisturize, all that. I don't usually use um, the Eco Styler Gel on my hair that often, but if I do choose to, I do layer it with another product because this is pretty even though it says max hold of 10 you still have to tie your hair down and then there is, is still the chance that your hair will be rolled up from the humidity which this one there's a lower amount of, there's a lower chance of your hair like reverting reverting to curly if you're using this so and then the next thing i'm using i'm no longer using a edge brush for my edges, I am now using this wooden kind of toothbrush. I got this brush from Family Dollar. I got this brush from either Family Dollar or from Dollar General because, okay, first of all, let me get y'all a little backstory. First of all, I thought this brush was like a regular brush and it just had black bristles. But this is a charcoal brush to brush your teeth with. So I was like, dang, I really hope I can still use this because I can't take this back to wherever I got it. No, I got this from Dollar Tree. I can't take I can't take this back to Dollar Tree. So I was like, oh hopefully I can still use this. But I don't be using it a lot. I don't use it a lot. I don't really put water on it. I just use the gel products to put on it. So it's been fine with me using it. And it is a soft brush brush so it doesn't break my edges whenever I use it or anything so that is why I really like this brush next up we have I just wanted to add this in there next up we have this braid sheen spray I like to use I actually use my hair I, I actually use this on my hair whenever I have braids so I have used this on this style lately when I first put them in just to kind of um, moisturize it it helps relieve dryness, soothes, it soothes tight or sore braids, which my braids are not sore or tight, but it also softens and conditions the hair. So it's good for actual strands as well, like apply it to your actual strands, not just your scalp. But um, yeah, I've been using um, African Pride for a very long time. Like ever since I was little, my aunt used to spray this on my hair and it always made my head feel so much better. It always made me feel like my, my scalp wasn't like parched or dry whenever it, like I forgot to oil it or something. This would come into handy. So hopefully if um, you guys pick up no other product, you decide to pick this up because we are moving into the season. Um, of braids which is the winter time a lot of girls get braids uh, or wigs in the winter time and you will need this because y'all be getting them braid downs too tight okay too tight so grab this we have our our styling tools tools and I have like limited my styling tools I no longer use a wide to comb on my hair I only use a paddle brush. oops I only use a paddle brush on my hair now and this is a con air paddle brush um don't mind the hair in the brush but this is a con air paddle brush i got this paddle brush from dollar general um i believe it was like five dollar five to seven dollars and it's a really good brush the only thing i don't like it about it is that it has these it has these buds on the top of it and sometimes if depending on how i brush my hair it will like grab or tangle my hair around the little knot so I'll have to take the, just take the brush out like this instead of trying to go through the strand because if you do that you're going to break your hair so that's the only thing I don't like about this brush other than that this brush detangles my hair really really well you just have to make sure you're brushing your hair correctly so if you need a brush or you're looking for a brush go ahead and go to Dollar General get you this brush girl the next thing that I want to talk about are these scrunchies. Um, I recently picked these up from um, Family Dollar. This came in a pack of 18 and I have been using them more often on my hair just because for some reason I can't find my satin scrunchies so I'm going to have to order some more. 
So I went ahead and got some of these because these are not bad scrunchies. As long as you know how to take them off, they will not tangle in your hair. And this is by Scrunchie. If you can see that, this is by Scrunchie. So I'll be linking this down below as well. You can get a pack, little girl. We all need scrunchies. They always get lost. Like, no matter what we do, our scrunchies gonna get lost. So you might as well go get you a pack of these too. And then, the one important thing that we need to talk about is protecting your hair. One way to do that is by moisturizing it and hydrating it. So get you a spray bottle. You can get it from Dollar Tree, you can get it from Dollar General, you can get it from Family Dollar, you can get it from Walmart, but I always suggest you get it from Dollar Tree because it's gonna be a dollar. And it do the same thing that you need it to do if you buy it from Walmart. So um, I've had this one for a while and it does everything that I need it to do. As long as it spray water on your head, that's all you need it to do. So, um, last but not least we're going to talk about how to protect your hair at night so um i have this head scarf that i use more often than others this scarf is actually very big if you can see it here um i did get this scarf from a beauty supply store i like to go into beauty supply stores and um look at scarf new scarves so that i can have a fresh set of scarves if i have to wash this one but yeah, I like to wear a head scarf at night. I really don't like bonnets as much anymore just because I haven't found a bonnet that I haven't found a bonnet that works for me yet. But I have been looking at some on Amazon that I am willing to check out. The ones with the drawstrings in it. Not the drawstring, but like the little like the scrunchy looking feeling. I mean the scrunchy looking type of bonnet. I am looking into one of those so um, if I get one I will update you guys on how I feel about it um, but other than that I do I did go ahead and invest in an edge a edge effect scarf I did get this from a beauty supply store somewhere near Atlanta but I'm pretty sure almost any beauty supply store would have it I do use this use this head scarf this type of head scarf to tie down my edges um, if I do um, go, if, I, if I do use the Dossini gel or anything like that, I use this edge scarf to wrap my hair and I'm so grateful for it now because I can like, I can use it for my wigs as well. So like I tie it in half and then I just tie my edges down on the part that I need it. So um, make sure you guys go get you one of these because they're very helpful. You won't have to tie a scarf on your full head, which is very annoying. And the last... Um, I have this bonnet that I have been using, which I kind of like, but the screens are just too long. So this bonnet has like a drawstring where you can pull it tight and then it like, let me just put it on, I'm going to show y'all right quick. So if I was to put it on like this, this drawstring will be on the side right here. And I just pull it like this to make it tight around my hair. So I've been using this. I've been using this quite often. I can't remember where I got it from. I'm pretty sure I got it from a beauty supply store. Um, if you're someone that like drawstring, likes drawstrings, you should definitely pick this up. But for me, I'm probably I'm I don't use it as much as my scarf, but I do like it for the fact that it does fit all my hair into it. So um, that's pretty much all the products that I'm using on my hair at this moment. Hopefully this video didn't end up being too long, but hopefully you guys do, or hopefully you guys did get to this point to the end of the video to actually see all the products I use on my hair. And I can actually take my hair out of this ponytail so you guys can um, see it fully right now. And y'all, you probably won't be able to actually see all of it because of this black shirt I got on but just do this right quick and I'll turn to the side so this is my hair it's not blow dried keep that in mind it's not blow dried so my hair is still not at full length but it's still very long in the state that it's in so, yeah this is pretty much what it looks like down. Um, hopefully you guys take some of these products into consideration but the most important thing to um, understand about growing your hair and getting it long is that you have to be consistent with your products don't be somebody that's always changing up your products every month or 
changing up products every other day mixing products like like mixing shampoos and conditioners i don't think that's a good idea for me i like to get a, sh a set of shampoo and conditioner and stick to it for as long as possible until i feel like it's not working for my hair no more and then i change it up but if it's working for your hair and you you like it for your hair then keep using it don't switch up your products just because people out here advertising um people out here are advertising that this this product good and this product good it could be a placebo effect just because you want it to be good like but yeah that's just my thought make sure you guys like comment and subscribe down below to the video so that other people can see this information as well you, you, when you click that thumbs up you're helping other people find information that that, that could be potentially useful to them so go ahead and subscribe down to the channel so you can keep on getting notified every time i post a new video i love you guys keep tuning on tuning in so I, I can give you a tea on information that i've learned and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one